Welcome back to my channel everyone, in today's video, I want to share my thoughts and opinions on a potential new addition to Saitama Battlegrounds. As you may know, the developers of this game are huge fans of the anime Jujutsu Kaisen, which is why they added the character Gojo. Now, there's a 50% chance that they might introduce Itadori as a private server character in the game. Keep in mind that this is solely my opinion, but let's dive into the details. Before we discuss Itadori's potential moveset, it's worth mentioning that the developers may add him once they finish working on the character speed O Sonic. Now, let's talk about his abilities and what they could bring to the game. First up is the Black Flash ability, where Itadori will unleash a rapid series of punches infused with Black Cursed Energy. This move promises to deliver an intense barrage of attacks. Next, we have the Cursed Combo. Itadori will grab his enemy, unleashing a series of four powerful punches, followed by a devastating strike with his fists enveloped in blue cursed energy. This combo sounds like it could pack a serious punch. Moving on, we have the Manji Kick. Itadori will execute a sequence of three kicks, alternating between legs, concluding with a powerful kick from his right leg. This move will deal a substantial 50% damage to the enemy's health. Itadori also possesses a healing ability named Simply Heal. With this skill, he can replenish 80% of his health, granting him the endurance to withstand tough battles. Now, let's talk about Itadori's awakening. When activated, Itadori will rip his shirt apart becoming possessed by Sukuna. This transformation unlocks a whole new set of devastating abilities. The first awakened ability is called Cleave. Itadori will execute a swift slash with his newly enhanced power, capable of inflicting significant damage. Then we have Pierce, which allows Itadori to deliver a powerful strike that leaves a gaping hole in his enemy's stomach. This move sounds brutal and devastating. Next up is Ground Smash. Itadori will slam the ground multiple times, causing the entire map to shake and dealing massive damage to all nearby enemies. This ability has the potential to turn the tides of battle. Lastly, we have the ultimate move, Domain Expansion, Malaverant Shrine. Itadori will trigger a captivating cutscene where his enemies will be teleported into his domain. Once inside, they will suffer constant damage, making it an incredibly deadly technique. That wraps up today's video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed my breakdown of Itadori's potential moveset and awakening in Saitama Battlegrounds. Don't forget to let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Until then, take care and peace out.